Good morning, guys. I am in Sailorville Reservoir in Iowa. Yeah, I made it to Iowa. Um, we are camping at this reservoir here. And I have to say, it's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. The, I've been out here now, got out here yesterday, and the water has just been pristine, flat, gorgeous since I've been here. And there are fish jumping everywhere. Does that mean I'm gonna catch them? Eh, who knows? However, I'm gonna give it a good shot. And um, I checked the list of species of fish that are in here. There are tons of different fish in here. I can't even begin to tell you the entire list. Um, and bunches of them are fish I've never even heard of, let alone fished for before. So if I catch a fish in this video and I don't know what it is, I'm going to research it and I'm gonna put up, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll actually post the species name. And if I don't, you guys can help me out by sending me a comment and letting me know what it is that I caught. <laughs> um, but I am wasting time. I need to get the lines in the water. So let's just get right to it and let's see if we can get lucky. While I'm rowing to my spot, I'm going to be rowing around. There's this little fishing jetty behind me here, and I don't know if, as my boat's turned, you'll be able to see it. But I'm going to row around and get out to that jetty. But until then, I'm going to tool around the edge here and see if I can catch some little panfish just to pass the time while I'm mooring. So. Fish on. Look at the size of that bluegill. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big one. Fish on. Fish on, guys. I don't know what we got here, but we got something. Oh, a little catfish. All right, guys. It looks like I got me a little catfish. Yeah, not a big one. But a fish nonetheless. I've been having a hard time today catching these guys. They're jumping all around me. Jumping all around me, but they're not committing. All right, see you later, buddy. So that was on a worm and I had it on a Carolina rig. And for those of you that don't know what a Carolina rig is, I've got a sliding weight, sliding weight above the line here. So that seems to do the trick. Let's see if I can get back out there and get another one. Fish on. Okay. 
Looks like another catfish, guys. Not a big one. But about that big. You're kind of fun to catch. Kind of give up a good little fight. Come here, buddy. Get going. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> well, at least he feels big. I don't know. He's bigger than all the other ones I've caught, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Guys, I got a little nicer one here. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. Not a bad catfish at all. Not bad. Not bad. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for getting on my hook. You got in that deep line. There you go. Get out of here. <laughs> that was a good one. I actually caught him under the mouth. He didn't really like he was biting it and I caught him as he was trying to get rid of it so that's why I had a hard time releasing him there it wasn't in his mouth well I think I'm gonna call it a day for today I'll definitely either be back out later this evening or tomorrow and I'm gonna be more geared up for catfish I didn't come out here geared for catfish I came out here more for like striped bass, largemouth, that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be a little more prepared to catch catfish later because that seems to be what's really biting right now. Um, so and I'll probably be fishing from the shore next time if you see me. So I'll get back to you in just a second. All right, guys. Well, I turned off my cameras and just cast it in and I caught a fish. Check this guy out. I don't know what that is. Is that a drum? I don't know. You guys help me out here. I'm gonna take him off there and we'll take another look at him. Hang on. All right guys, I got the hook out of him. That's what we're talking about right there. Ugly sucker. Anyway, I don't know what that is, because never caught one of these before. So, All right, well, I am back at it again today. But today I'm not taking out my kayak. Today I am just going to try some bank fishing, see how that works out. A little bit windier today, and for all of you that have kayaks, know that unless you have a pretty sweet system, kayak fishing in the wind is not an easy task. Anyway, I have a little ways to walk and it doesn't look like it's too hiker friendly, but it doesn't look too difficult. So I'm gonna give it a shot. You know how it is. Sometimes getting to the good spot isn't always the easiest task in fishing. So anyway, I'm gonna get out there and I'm gonna try to go for some more catfish today and uh find oh there's a trail and uh see what else is lurking on the bottom of sailorville reservoir but ooh, this trail check out this trail looks like i'm not the first one to walk this path
almost there, guys. All right, guys, so I've arrived at my spot. Um, you know, I think it's a good spot, and unfortunately, even though I hate litter and I hate people that leave their garbage behind, there's a bunch of fishing garbage around here. So my guess is people fish here a lot. So today, this is my spot. Um, and I'll probably clean up some of the stuff before I leave. And just a public service announcement, you guys should all do that. Leave your fishing spot, you know, cleaner than you arrived at it, just so that we don't have to, you know, walk across garbage and all that when we go fishing. Let's leave our environment pristine. Anyway, done with that. So I'm gonna fish at the bottom today. And what I'm gonna use, this is like my favorite way to bottom fish, is I use one of these little slides right here that attaches the weight on this little clip right here. And that way I can feel every little tug that happens down there. Put a bead on the end here so that this doesn't constantly hit on your knot. And then swivel and like always guys, if you're gonna be fishing like this, circle hooks, okay? It's so much easier to get this out of the fish. Your hookup ratio is a lot higher and they don't gut, you know, you don't gut hook them. So today what I'm gonna be using is worms and this power bait that it's chicken liver and chicken blood. And I left the package open. I took one out and checked it out. Left the package open in my backpack and my backpack reeks. So apparently that might be some good stuff. So let's get to fishing. All right, well, that first location in one word sucked. So I've moved down a little ways. I've seen a lot of action splashing around in here. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna catch anything, but I am optimistic. So same thing, same bait, same everything, just right here. Fish on, guys. <clears throat> we got here, got here, catfish. All right. All right, guys, catfish number one. All right. See you later, buddy. No, nope, go back out in the water. Go on. There you go. Sean, guys. All right, let's see what we got here. Don't cross my lines. Don't cross my line. Oh yeah, he's a fighter. Oh yeah, he's a good one. What are you thinking, fish? Oh, you're a nice one. You're a nice one. Hmm? Yes. Oh, I know. I see that barb. There he is, guys. Look at that one. All right. You. Yeah. Look at him. I hear you, buddy. We're going to weigh you. Yes. 
we are gonna weigh you. Oh, stop now. I know, you wanna get me with those barbs, but I'm not having it. Not having it. All right, guys, let's see what this sucker weighs. Look at that, 2.3 pounds. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Two on the worm, zero on the so-called stinky bait. All right, look at that fat guy. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and let's let him go. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for making my moment. There you go. Get out of here. Yeah, all right. Just about took my pole in the water. I think I need to get better pole holders. Yeah, it's better than just leaning it up against something, right? That was a quick catch. Didn't even get a chance to turn on my GoPro. <laughs> well guys, I just cast it out there. I didn't even get a chance to set my rod down. And I've already got this dude on. Look at that. Look at this guy. Hey guy. Nice, nice fish. Check it out guys, another one. This one, I didn't even set my rod down and he was already on it. Hungry little mofo. Holy moly, I'm catching him like mad now. Look at that guy, look at that guy, huh? All right, let's go ahead and let him go. You ready? You ready? Get out of here. Go on. Get. All right, guys. So I'm out of bait, and hence I'm going to get out of here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you can get notified when I have more videos out. And I'm going to hit the road, and I'll see you guys on the next Nomadic Fishing Adventure. Uh -huh.